So right now we're back again for uh, Go For Lol SEA Game 2 with uh, Team Mind Freak picking up the first game fairly easily. We're seeing the exact same bands first as first game, Scion, Zareth, Morgana, Kassadin, and a Fiddlesticks band this time. That should be interesting because Fiddlesticks was not one of the stronger players, I think. Pretty sure he was not. I'm working on washing my mouth because apparently I'm bad at that. Not saying he was bad, I'm just saying he did he wasn't one of the big wins. I'm not sure why they're banning Trindamir again. Is it a targeted ban or are they just banning to Are they just banning to ban him because he's annoying to deal with? Oh they're mean. They're mean to me. Uh maybe this is just me, but whenever I play games I just like to lock fast. Say, I'm playing this guy. Now I'm gonna lock. But we're going to see uh, some picks. Not quite sure what they're going to pick. Mostly because I wasn't paying attention to this guy plays this. But we're going to see the jungler as my cord gets wrapped in my mic. Uh, we're going to see the jungler. Again, jungle Ramus. Which, again, I don't like jungle Ramus. He doesn't seem that strong to me. But okay. And jungle Maokai. We're gonna have jungle Maokai. Curse you, the odd one. Curse you. Th that's all. But we're gonna see jungle Maokai. Um, would have liked to see him like solo top or something, but that's just me. Uh, so we're gonna have Maokai and Sona pick. Apparently Sona's number one support. But honestly, it's a little lower than that. She's like number three, four. We're gonna see a Vayne pick. When last the last time they banned Vayne, I'm not sure if it was a we don't want you to have Vayne or yeah, I think it was just a we don't want you to have Vayne pick or ban because honestly none of them were that tanky last game. But a Maokai pick is always nice. We're going over to Mind Freak again. See what their picks are. Rise again, we see another rise, and Caitlyn. Okay. I guess. So we're gonna see a rise and support Caitlyn. Yes, support Caitlyn. Nope. Um, Adon's gonna play Caitlyn again. Or, yes, Adon is going to play Sona again, as he has been rocking Sona for I have no idea how long. I'm gonna see a York pick again. I'm thinking these are going to be the exact same teams with the exception of the AD carries. Who's the last one? Brand? No, probably not Brand. Let's see who the last pick is. It's probably like, uh, see, we have another Brand. I'm not sure how the Brand pick is going to play out because this team is exactly the same as last. We have a Singed. We have a Maokai and a Singed. Problem? I think we have a problem. Okay, well, I'm just gonna stand here. Cool story, bro. We may have a problem. No, we don't have a problem. It's okay. You you, you want to watch this? Not really. This okay? You, you're just gonna stand there. I don't know. So you're just gonna stand here. Oh, you're gonna stand here the entire game. Yeah. Why do you gotta do that? Cause I don't care. Get out of here. I don't wanna. Get out of here. <laughs> oh. I don't feel like it. <clears throat> Get out of here. Why don't you ask me later when I feel like it? <clears throat> well, it's later now, so GTFO. Yeah. <clears throat> Why don't you ask me later? Get out of here. Corky, that actually 
doesn't hurt at all. Seriously, get out of here. Well, I'm doing something semi-important here. Cool story. Yeah. Uh, go on. Get out of here. Now that my brother's gone, we'll wait for the three minute delay. I don't like my brother. He's annoying. He trolling me. He's just straight up trolling. Apparently the jungle Maokai pick was for me. All for me. Because I like Maokai. Nine viewers. How many viewers could that be? That would be three at least. Pe at least three people from the chat. That would be Duff. Chase it again. And we'll begin in a minute. Minute and a half. Till then, I don't know what we're doing. I'm gonna be waiting. Duff counts for six. Awesome. Six computers of you. I'm pretty sure some of them are ghosting, but I don't remember who. Yeah, that math works out. I'm, I'm a little tired. <laughs> so math's not always working out. No, I know Zepardo's watching. Pretty... I don't know if Zepardo's watching, and I'm pretty sure... Okay, so Duff, Nanello... No. Now it's down to eight, so that means I have... Three. Apparently, according to Duff Math. Duff Math, too strong. Got another 40-second delay, minus whatever, I fe whatever the game feels like loading, because Adon's loading from a toaster. Yes, strong. But again, we have however long the delay is for loading. People want to remove Timo again. Remove Timo. Six down votes. Awesome. Warmogs, not Opai. Opai, yes, Opai. And we're going to begin. Pie. Okay, so here we go. Ah. That is a weird face, and I did not know it made that face. Look at that weird face. That's a weird face. Aha, we have Charred Maokai. We have Scream Razor jungling. I'm assuming he's a jungler for the team with Adon being the support. Um, we have Caitlyn. Caitlyn versus Vayne and Soraka. Oh, Caitlyn, Vayne, Soraka. Caitlyn, Vayne, Soraka, Sona, bot lane. With Brand versus Rise mid again. We're going to see. The only thing that has changed up on these teams are the 80 carries. And the 80 carry, the jungler, and the tank down here. And just the 80 carry for the blue team. I have no. Okay. Aztec, X-Core, Vivina, and Van Martin. I don't even know who the other team is. I honestly don't. I probably should. If I knew. I don't know what I would do if I knew. Screw this team. I don't even know what the, what the name of the thing is. 
don't know. Uh, no, they ain't even friends. It's a professional team, I'm pretty sure. But again, the toaster loading... The toaster loading is too good. I can load from a toaster, too. It gives me good food. That's how, I, that's how I stay in here all day. Aha! We've started. We've started and the CV goes down for the purple team. Has the CV gone down here? Okay, you need to move over there. There we go. There we go. CV has gone down for both teams. I think. CV has gone down for both teams. Now if you can see... Oh, I had Welcome no idea. Hmm. Oh, that is how much they have left. Uh, they're gathering around to protect Maokai as he sets up. <laughs> yes, they're all kind of hovering around him until he gets set up. With Rise and Sona protecting. Vayne and Soraka protecting Wraiths for Jungle Ramus, as Jungle Ramus is it's kind of bad at jungling if he gets counter-jungled. The heck's that little bar there? Whatever. So, Maokai. Yes, Maokai. Maokai's setting up his jungle here. Well, Pure Lols is talking to me. I'm going to move that. Move that down there. And we have a CV. Now... Well, you can see that Maokai is obviously not setting up for blue. Um, he's probably... Minions have spawned. He's gonna go for it. Okay, and everyone's gaining their gold. As you can... I'm not sure if he's doing a count... Oh, he's getting a good leash for on blue. Now, well, blue has not spawned yet. It is about to spawn now. He's not going for blue. He's going for wraiths. What I'm thinking is he's going for wraiths, and he's going for golems, and then a level 2 or 3 gank. A really early gank. Starting with a Dorn's Ring. Yes, he's going for an early level 2 gank. Level 3 gank. 2.5. He's going for a 2.5 gank. Nope, nope, 2 and 3 quarters. My bad. Or maybe he is going for a... No, he's taking the odd one route. That is what he's doing. So, we have a farm fest up here with Singe taking poison first. Which I find interesting. He's taking poison first. And we have tumble. Tumble first on Vayne here. I always wonder if she can tumble through traps. Probably not. Oh. Maokai died. Maokai died. Maokai. Why, Maokai, why? There's first blood to the golems. Let's turn Fog of War off. Oh, he still had one left. That is why you don't jungle Maokai. Well, you don't jungle Maokai like that anyway. Starting with boots, three pots on Singe, and, um, three pots, or two pots health potion on our Yorick here. We have Maokai going, reattempting his killing spree on the golems. So he kills and goes back. Not even thinking about the gank that he could be pulling off here. For first for second blood, because first blood went to the golems. Now after recalling, what did he buy? He bought a fairy charm. A fairy charm. It's shaping up to look like Soraka is going to be first blood here. With only 40 armor to begin with. I mean, oh, okay, she has more armor than Bane. But I'm not sure if it's, bump if it's been bumped up by any skills. At 4 armor per level, Malka is going for, uh... Maokai is going for uh, blue here. Well, we have more farming down bot. But it looks like they're getting kind of aggressive as Caitlyn has laid down her traps to prevent uh, Vayne from crossing the line. Except for very carefully. We see a bit of aggression up here from 
get a bit of aggression up here from York because York knows as soon as Singe hits six and he gets that catalyst, it's game over. And you cannot force him out of lane. Um, with a slight gold advantage right now going to uh, blue team because Maokai died early, as you saw there, and he's taking two points in sapling. While this, while taking points in sapling is good for, uh, say, lane Maokai, it's not so good for jungle Maokai as it costs more. Uh, unless you're constantly at camps, it costs more mana to drop them. And other than costing more mana, I mean, I know it scales well, but the damage from ganking that you can do is far better. No more aggression here. Uh, Soraka looks like she's going off to ward. And Maokai looks like he's in a kind of tough spot here. As you see, two war. Oh, one ward that just wore out. With Ramus going in to kill. Oh, Ramus not going in to kill. Ramus thinking about it. Uh, oh, we're seeing a bit of aggression up here with uh, Singe being able to push really hard. Uh, he's gotten dodge boots. Well, these we were best back now. Uh, back then. Actually, they're still best against York, since all his schools do physical damage upon attacking. He didn't... No, oh, I was going to say he didn't ward, but how did he just flip in and out? Wh or why did he flip in and out is more... More the word choice. York's now level 6, and his ultimate, although up, he does not have enough mana to use it. So if he gets himself into a tricky spot, this may sell, spell disaster for York. First oh, blood. completely missed that. And first blood going to Brand with a nice, nice gank by Ramus, who just rolls out and continues on his jungle. This is why I don't like Jungle Maokai. He hasn't ganked yet. And he just, ne he hasn't ganked yet, and he doesn't have boots. Poor Qua. Poor Qua, bro. Poor Qua. So he's behind in levels. He's the same level as the support, or he's one level ahead of the support and the same level as the AD carry. Well, this would normally be good. It's not quite good for a jungler who relies on ganking. Singed, just chilling in his lane. He's gone back once. They are down. They are down by in gold considerably. Nope, he has not. Is he going to ward? He's going to drop a ward and just resume doing his thing. Uh, York taking a little bit of damage. Not much damage with even after Singe is weighted into the brush. Where did that come from? Oh, it's almost gone. So with Singed wading into the brush back and forth, back and forth, he's not really doing the best he can do. Oh, aggression going down here. We see Maokai getting taken down in a burst of flame by burst of flame by Brand couldn't remember his name with his smite and his flash down Ryze makes some random aggression and while the lane is pushed in Ryze's favor Brand having red buff isn't going to do much for anyone anyone if I can delock my camera uh, we look. it looks like we have maybe some aggression down here but with Soraka keeping Bane's mana up, this doesn't look like it's going to be a really difficult lane for anyone to win. Um, they're pushing really hard, and it looks like the turret is taking quite a few hits. Oh, Soraka... No, no, she couldn't have prevented damage from that. Uh, because she, her heal was on cooldown. Now, they're both heading back now. Well, I do agree that is a good plan... And the Yeti taking it back too. Um, grabbing boots? Did she grab boots? She has not grabbed boots yet. Not grabbing boots yet, and Caitlyn grabbing boots and her BF sword. The BF sword is going to be a game changer right now simply because Vayne has not had a chance to go back. Now she is going back. Uh, Brand doing what looked like to be some counter jungling, but now is going to pick up blue is having a pretty good lane is having a pretty as eh, decent laning 
he's technically winning against Rise with more CS. By a little, not too much, and Rise has already died. He is also a little bit fed because of those two kills, that one kill on Maokai and First Blood. Now, I mean, you see Singed up here getting a little aggressive, and it's not too aggressive, but they're still they're still trading about even with Singed not having a catalyst quite yet. He just uses his ult for the sustain. Seeing, not seeing Ramus come in here is a big mistake. That taunt, and the number one rule, chasing Singed, almost gets him killed. You gain just enough. He regains, he's about at 300 health, give or take. And he has no sustain right now. Grabbing an easy dragon. They grabbed an easy dragon and I completely missed it. I need to be more map aware. Stop having my tunnel vision because I'm a solo top guy. Uh, giving Rise his blue. Well, Maokai is a strong champion with blue. Doesn't look like their Maokai is doing the best. I think I may have accidentally forced Maokai into... Maokai into being Maokai. Don't know who that is. But whatever. Maokai, again, now with level 1 boots. What's his gold at? He has level 1 boots, and he's just kind of waiting around. Ah, there we go. Another Doran's ring. Rai is just using his ult on the wolves. Because everyone knows. Dyrus knows they are OP. Um, see, Maokai is way behind in levels, not ganking, and he's the same level as their Sona. The other jungler, on the other hand, never mind, he's not behind in levels. I was sorely confused. But he is behind in gold overall. No, he's ahead in gold. And there goes the first turret of the game. Singe is not caring about anything, just trolling those minions down. He doesn't go into the bush. I'm thinking it's because of the don't chase singe rule. Well, that is a nice rule to follow. I don't know if it's the always rule of thumb. Of course, they didn't have wards there, so it's understandable. Maokai, Maokai beginning to do some counter jungling down here. I'm not sure if they saw them. Oops, not purple, blue. Not sure if they saw them. But the particles are there. Oh. We maybe see something we may see something going down here. How can I drop his ult? Uh Caitlin gets away with a flash. And we see Ooh. Okay, taken down again. It's the second time. Uh Singe coming in here to do his singe thing, flipping Brand over the wall. We may see a dead rot. Oh, we're going to see a dead. We see a dead singe too. This is not going well for t for Team MF. Dead rise, and are we going to see a dead Sona here too? Sona's ult is down. Sona's flash is down, and that's a dead Sona. Running down the middle lane again, Caitlyn, who's the only one who didn't die in that engagement. It's only one level and 90 caliber net. Comes down mid lane to try and keep this push off. She's two levels behind the solo top, which is never a good thing. I don't know why she chose to pick off that uh, minion of York's. But she just did. Oof. She didn't get the CS there. And York gets away scot-free. Now, while Maokai is a strong counter jungler, that's all he really excels in. And not in the, I'm going to steal your buffs, but more in the, I'm going to steal your small camps. Which, at this state of the game, or at this point in the game, doesn't really matter as much. Singe going back solo top, continuing to farm. Uh, he has a catalyst and almost a rod of ages, with only one ward on him. Coming back to the protect the turret is York, and it looks like Brand is trying to... He's just going to steal the wraiths. I'm not quite sure what uh, Ramus' thought process was here. And even though uh, Ryus had his cooldown on Rune Prison, he's now dead. 
almost survived using that that ult for the healing. Almost. I'm guessing profanities are being yelled over, vent, Skype, team speak, whatever. Strangely, Ryze has no defenses. He has offense through his mana, and he's already maxed out overload. Which, I mean, it's understandable. Yeah. See, here's the problem. Their Maokai has no damage skills. He has Arcane Smash and Twisted Advance at level 1, and then Sapling Toss for camp clearing. Camp clearing. This, he should be leveling up more to gank. I don't understand why he's not doing it, and a pass from Ramus to Bran for the blue buff. He is level 8, and honestly, I don't know what's going on now. Back to the items tab. Soraka sitting with 0 CS. 0 CS. And only one gold per five item. How Sona has more gold than Soraka and more deaths, I don't know. Even though Sona has less assists, it confuses me. But whatever. Continuing on, we s there seems to be no aggression anywhere, but Singe just doing his normal Singe thing and pushing top lane. While Singe is one of the best split pushers in the game, we're probably going to see this top turret go down. He's not attacking the turret, which is surprising. I think they just grabbed Dragon, and we see the gold total about the same now. Even though they're ahead in kills, even though blue team, team I don't remember, let's just call it that team, IDR, I don't remember, is ahead in kills. Ah, they timed it out. Yes. Double wards, too good. We see a teleport in from York, and we may see an engage here. Dropping his ult and blowing flash is not the best plan for Maokai, as it's still on a 40 second cooldown. We see Maokai go in for the initiation on York. York just has enough time to get his ult off. Unfortunately, he doesn't survive but he does manage to get a kill on Rise. We may see a kill on... Nope, no more kills. We see no more kills here as York goes down for the second time in the same team fight. Maokai, trying trying desperately to get his... No Magic Man, trying to get his... The hell, the heck are they? Mercury's Treads. He's trying desperately to get his Mercury's Treads. And while he will get them eventually, it's not happening right now. The gold advantage easily lies to MF, but we have to see how this is going to turn out. Clairvoy random clairvoyance on the tower shows that it is not damaged pretty much at all. Back to more farming while Sona just sits back, does her Sona thing. She's going back for what seems to be a heart of gold, I don't know, sitting with a thousand gold right now, and Maokai with 0, 3, and 2 with 64 CS. The junglers are doing kind of bad this game, I have to say. From my decent elo perspectives, the junglers are doing kind of bad. Maokai is not covering enough lanes to make his time worth it, but he, is, he can CS under the tower pretty decently. Uh, with bot tower already gone from them, and everyone having a recall fest in mid. Um, we see Maokai now finally leveling up Twisted Advance to level three. Is there gonna be an aggression? Oh, there looks to be aggressive play up top. Singe has used his ult and is sitting in the bushes waiting on his health regen. He flips that table of a York and gets out of there. I thought that was 190 gold from a dragon, but then I remembered the dragon is seriously protected. We see Sona has grabbed an oracle, and while I would like to have, I don't know, maybe Maokai grab it, he's not tanky enough and he's dying too much to have it really be worth it. Sona, doing her job and keeping her wards. Lots of pings go down. And while there's a ward there, Brand definitely knows Maokai's around.
gold advantage still going to uh, Team Mind Freak here with Vayne free farming bot. This is the worst thing possible. With Vayne sitting at the second highest CS in the game. No, third highest CS in the game. She is third highest CS. Rai is not even above, not even hitting 100, and singed being really greedy and taking all that farm. No wards have gone down up top recently. So that means Maokai is in a safe spot to, if he wants to, flash, er, never mind, he can't flash initiate. Maokai laying down the ult to uh, alleviate some damage on the turret, or alleviate some damage from, from Yorick if he chooses to fight. And oh, we may be see. Oh, we see Vayne. Ooh, we see a Sona L to keep him alive, and it works. They get out of there scot free. No deaths with only a wasted flash and a wasted ult. Yes, wasted flash, wasted ult. We see Rise looping around here to try and hook, try and hook York, and York drops his ult. Yorg goes down, and now they are trapped with Singed and Rise going down. Is Singed gonna go down? Singed is going down. Maokai looping around to say, ooh, I can I can try and help, but I'm not gonna. Maokai saying, no thank you, and getting out of there. Um, Ramus taking a real powerball and just kind of kind of sitting there. If I were Maokai, I'd take some time out, you know, get some farm. But I would not have gotten Mercury Treads. That's right, I moved my chat way down here. Oops. We have Maokai taking red. Nope, he's just recalling by red. Um, we have seen two turrets go down. And while the turret number is in the favor of... The favor of Mind Freak, it does not really seem like people are actually going to win. I'm not sure who's going to win this. Because the kill advantage... Kill advantage is favoring Team I Don't Know. And, well, the tower advantage is easily favoring Team MF. They're giving the blue buff to Rise, as you probably should. Someone is just being a good girl and tank and hits from the golem like a man. Now, bad initiation by Maokai goes... Interesting. Nice trap placement. And you just see... I love how people ch run from the sapling and they just run into enemies. Now what- th this bar is still bugging me. It's been there all game. Singed. Oh. Rise killing- killing Brand with only one- one point in spell flux. Not gonna get any strong bounces. Calling Sona over to take out this ward. Calling Sona over to take out this ward. And they're, they're gearing up for a dragon. No doubt they have timed it. Yeah. And that was a really fast dragon. It's like a three, four second dragon, I think. I was not counting. Huh, that's odd. Okay. Oh, that's why. So we have a 3-4 second dragon. Rise seems to be pushing. Um, Ramus using his ult just to knock off, the ta knock off the minions from the tower. And you're getting aggressive on Singed up here. Singed getting a quick force of nature right after his Rod of Ages. <laughs> I am spacing on names tonight. We may have some aggressive play going down here. Nope. Nothing. We see a three-man push with Maokai, 
Okay, a little low. Are we gonna see a flash snare? No, we're not even gonna see a flash. This flash is enough. Just using his rune prison for no Rise, the OP mana powerhouse, sticking with two catalysts. Two catalysts. Too strong. And oh, we may see a push on mid tower. No, they're not going to take down mid tower. Honestly, it seems like in professional games, and by I say prof when I say professional, I mean high elo games. It seems like the mid towers are last to fall. With junglers doing worse and worse, the higher elo you get. Now, okay, getting a banshee's veil. I can see why this is strong. But I do not see why he would get it over something else. Ward goes down at Baron. And a CV does as well. More wards, and Sona's gonna take a ward out. Hit that ward, Sona. Place a ward inside Baron. That's an annoying as heck ward to get out. Because it requires some intricate A walk towards it stuff. Hold on. We see two kills going down from MF, slowly catching up, being 5k gold ahead again. And it looks like they're gonna take an uncontested Baron. By uncontested, I mean people are probably not going out because there's two of them down, and their big AoE is down as well. Well, York can run in and try and ramble that, it looks like an uncontested Baron again. That's what pretty much secured the game last time. They're going to take the blue buff. Well, this isn't the worst option. This is not the best option either. Ryze having obscene mana regeneration now. Or he will. I wish it showed their stats. Oh yes, it does. Ryze having obscene mana regeneration. That's HP. 280 mana regeneration for 5 seconds. Everyone's recalling the heal up, it seems. Three man, why you know like jungle? I don't like jungle Maokai because it's generally weaker the way he pulled it. I mean, Maokai now doesn't even have cooldown. Because he doesn't have blue buff? Well, he has the 10% and then whatever he has from runes and masteries. Does he have any? Cooldown reduction 14. He has 4% from runes and masteries. Not that much. He didn't. He's obviously taking a 2109 setup. As evidenced by the. Look how much AP I have. But I don't know what runes he's taking. They're gonna engage on this tower, it seems. Did I. I, I thought I heard. Oh, there goes a vein ult. Are we gonna see? Are we gonna see a kill? No. Maokai engaging stupidly is probably going to get caught off guard. Nope. With Singe coming in from behind, we see a death. Death from. Death from Soraka. Death from Ramus. Probably a death. Ooh. Almost a death on the level five Squirtle. That level five Squirtle would have died. Would have had to restart my Pokemon. They're gonna make another push in on the mid turret. Is Maokai gonna start tanking it? No. Maokai's not gonna start tanking. Maokai runs in there, trying to, and he gets the snare off, gets a kill, and they start thinking about trying to, that doesn't help Maokai, I don't know why you did that, but okay, and are they going to go for a third, they're going for a third, the second one without minions, Sin starts face tanking everything, 
they take three turrets or two turrets again with top being severely pushed right now it's not going to be enough to take it but all the lanes have been pushed very strongly someone getting a double kill oh yeah I don't care Running away, probably taking blue buff. Nope, not even taking blue buff. Now guy's just gonna recall. Okay. Yeah. I do like the jungle. I just don't like how the junglers are doing. Uh, Singe getting caught in a stupid position right here. He makes it out easily, because he's Singed. He never does. And he actually has really defensive... He's really... He has a lot of defensive items right now. He could easily go in, and it looks like he's going for a Sunfire Cape. With a massive gold advantage. Let's see how, what's the gold advantage? Gotta do the math in my head. 1 point, or 12k gold advantage. 12k gold advantage for Mind Freak. It's hilarious. 12k gold advantage. Five turrets down to nothing. Looks so like this would be a one sided game again. Maokai again giving up his blue buff. Oh, I do agree that Rise profits from it. You probably would want a Maokai to take it. Oh, I would want a Maokai to take it simply because I like Maokai. Whatever. Um, we see farm levels. Singed at 250 farm. 250 CS. That is insane. Maokai is just tanking that tower. Because he knows, you know what? A tower's not going to do anything. They take down bottom tower and they make a push onto the base again. With super minions push. Never mind, not super minions. They didn't take out the inhib. But they started doing it. Snare going in. Nope, not a snare going in. We see Singe drinking his insanity potion, which seems to last about as long as a health potion. A little bit longer. We see a huge team fight. Soraka, Soraka wishes everyone back alive. And Singe just chucks Vayne off everyone. Well, she did have the the Yorkult going down. Doesn't look like that Yorkult's gonna help much. We see three of them, four of them go down with Brand, the only one left, and that's gonna be the GG. There's the GG, and that's game two. That's game two, and Mind Freak sweeps them up. Leroy Jenkins joined that chat. Victory. I don't know who those other people are, but that's game two of Go For Law SEA with Mind Freak sweeping up. I'm Lugagraf, and I've been your caster for today.